Now I am a seventh episode. Time to head to the Aiken Drum. See what's going on Crossing here. Crossing through the occupied city, the bard eventually found his way to the local pub, which somehow he always seemed to do. The Aiken Drum was the popular hangout of drunks, the unemployed, and reprobates who made their living on the streets. The bard, of course, felt right at home. Ah, uh, so there's a bunch of drunks that I can have a jam with, so let's do it. And one of them looks to be like Kettle Swart. I'll tell a tale that is terribly true. Started out as a rumor, but suddenly grew. And it deals with a man and a horse and a ring. So settle on in and our song we shall sing. It happened one day in a ring by a farm, something that tragically brought so much harm. How could a place abundant with charm create such a beast with a spear for an arm? And death and destruction is what you'll get when it's coming for you And you kill you all wet and he's big and he's strong It's quite plain to see that this is the tale of the knuckle of the ear oh. Knuckle of the ear, knuckle of the ear, big and evil and heinous Who could it be a set you free? It really must be an anus Oh, knuckle of the ear, it's easy to see in the terror you leave, it's raining on me. The village is burned and the taverns are missed, and the beer's all gone and the elders are pissed. And if they ever should find the fool, hang him upside down by his tool and spin him around until he gets sick. <coughs> ah, I should do the trick. Hey! Knuckle of the ear, knuckle of the ear, the terror you offer is high class. Who could it be a set you free? A really must be a dumbass. Knuckle of bee, oh knuckle of bee, the hurry you finish is widespread. Who could it be a set you free? A really must be an ox head. Everyone knows no blood should spill in the sacred ring by the farm on the hill. And if this ever happens, then death you should fear. He'll kick in your nuts and he'll serve them with beer. So one final thought before I depart, and this my friend comes straight from the heart. We'd all be fine if not for that bell and that horse-killing wanker who opened up hell. Knuckle of the or oh, knuckle of the, we cannot win, we must admit. Who could it be a set you free? It really must be a dim wit. Knuckle of the, knuckle of the, are big and evil and heinous. Who could it be a set you free? It really must be an anus. I'm quite certain that Bard has nothing to do with any kind of knuckle of being released. And this Dugan. Now I was supposed to meet. Welcome, friend. I'd heard you'd come to Doonby. Many in the city have. It's been many a winter since a man's come out of the north on his own two feet, and not in a pine box. I noticed I seem to be quite popular with the locals. Aye. The princess knew you'd have to pass through here on your way to your next stop, so she had me waiting in this godforsaken city to lend you a helping hand. You've been a great help so far, let me tell you. Nobody likes a smart-ass son. I couldn't have helped you get past them patrols. Those druids have been tearing the city apart looking for you. They'd like nothing better than to stop you from freeing Our Lady. They'd have done for me easily. Of course, of course. Well then, what kind of help can you actually lend me? I can help you out with a bit of information. There's a man lives west of here. Goes by the name of McGrath. He's the caretaker of the Shadow Axe. 
and you'll need it to get into the next tower. Yeah, yeah, as soon as I rescue his cat, or steal him a gem, or find his long-lost betrothed, I'll get the drill. Everyone wants a piece of the bard. <sighs> Ugh, it's a cynical man ye are, but maybe that's what kept you alive this long. Mikrath is one of us, lad. He's keeping the axe for you. All you have to do is go get it from him. Don't suppose you could have had it waiting here for me? And risk it falling into the hands of these druids? That would truly be daft of us. It's a big enough risk I take meeting you here. Use your head for thinking and not just yapping. That actually makes sense. But I can do without the lip. Remember, I'm your savior. Get your arse out of here and head to Greenlands to find McGrath. <laughs> Well, now Bart knows that his exploits have already reached the form of a song and where to go. <laughs> Don't be actually has a uh, bit of a, you could say, extra areas for you to explore. The, you could say the old down B, which is a bonus, you could say a bonus section. Here. Mostly because it, it, it there's nothing really important there except a couple of up, a couple of songs that y to summons you can find there, but plot-wise it serves no purpose. Yeah, there's enemies over here waiting, so I'm just gonna pepper them full of arrows. And there's all the st and some of them are a bit of you could say a bit of strange because some of them are really good and some of them are actually quite useless. Except the dog. Dog's always useful because well, it's a do it's a nice dog. Behold! Ooh, that had to hurt. Okay, and it, and it's quite much of a you could say a rule that if it is very powerful. Summon. It's gonna, it's gonna be very brittle as well. But still, getting forward to the Greenlands out of West, out of Downby, which is so big that it had to be split in two parts. Yeah, now I need to get the Shadow Axe so I can then go and. Go to the third tower. He eluded our traps. He's stronger than anticipated, Master. You men go to the tower. Once he's inside, seal the doors. Even should he defeat Mananen, that tower will become his tomb. Yes, my lord. Okay, I have a special task for you. This bard seems more than a match for the men. He is indeed, Master. However, if we're <sighs> given another chance, I'm sure... We're running out of chances. You must face him. Intercept him before he reaches the tower. Take my pet with you to ensure that he does not survive. He doesn't stand a chance. Well, Fionnick appears to be actually quite smart person in that he does understand the important. He does not seem to underestimate Bart's capabilities. He actually seems to think them as very formidable. Most, most likely by experience, but still. He's no fool and all kinds of undead and th things pester the lands. So, time to head to the Greenlands. With more... Druids coming against me. You continue on despite our efforts. If you can call what you've done up to this point an effort, you are so going to rue this day. We know what you're Mindo. up to. First the forest tower, then through the mountain pass for the mountain tower. Mindo. And now, now you're going to try to get through Stromness to get to the island tower. Well, Mindo, not on you my watch. Idiot. Thanks for the tip, Mendel. That should make finding my way to the final tower that much easier. Oh yeah. You knew already. Don't pretend you didn't. I mean, I mean that's not really how. Seriously, you knew, right? At least I didn't say anything Silence. about those. Oh yeah, one of them is already killed. 
by them. You think you can slay our brothers and not pay a price? I think I pulled a groin muscle fighting one of your druids, if that makes you feel any better. It's time to cause you a little more pain than that. Oh, I don't know about that. Have you ever pulled a groin muscle? Haven't you learned by now that you can't hurt me? Oh, I think I can hurt you, my friend. Nice dog you have there. Allow me to introduce my pet. Oh. My God. Now you'll pay. Today, you'll do the paying. The pet killed Bart's dog. Which is not good. Death to the Bart. Oh yeah, the pet is some sort of weird monster. Trying to figure out the projectile weapon. to be dropping so let's bring out the knife oh by the way what's Lug to bring out his axe shield to me which is which makes it com com combating really handy mostly because you can just move around and the axe shield does the damaging for you. Not completely all of it, but still does quite a decent chunk of damage for the enemies. For you. Victory! And... And of course, it, it always when you can just do the, let the game do the damaging to the enemies instead of you, it's, it's improvement. Oh yeah, it, it's actually, it actually seems to summon, pull out all these druids by, by itself to drop on. Sucker! But no, I killed the pet. It killed my pet. I'll and miss you, little friend. But by God, I'll avenge you, I swear it. This isn't over yet. Saddened by the loss of his faithful companion, the bard somehow found a way to carry on. With a tear in his eye. It's not a tear. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. I, I, I've got something stuck in my eye. Oh, have it your way. So, with something in his eye, the bard left behind his stiff-as-a-board pup and continued his quest for the Shadow Axe. <sighs> yep. They actually. Time to get paid. The druids actually learned, figured out, or had a way to actually cause some hurt to the bard. Just by for king and country. Just by summoning a, getting that pet to kill bard's own nice pet. But well, that was just a basically boss encounter. Though the grass of Greenlands was beautiful, it was permeated with danger as the dreaded Redcaps patrolled the land. Actually, if I remember right, Redcaps are some sort of uh, folklore, folklore monster. Which uh, some kind of gnome, or I don't know the exact term might be used, but they they are bloodthirsty and ill-tempered. 
The stronger the bard is, the more damage he can and inflict would, with melee weapons. And their unpleasantness is mostly because of, well, the red cap comes from the fact that they have want to... The bard will automatically bash with his shield after blocking, stunning his enemy. Well, the, the red cap name comes from the fact that they wear caps which are constantly red from from blood. Although, I think in that case it should most likely be called, it would have to be fresh blood. Because, well, blood coagulates once it's exposed to oxygen. And that and that way it also, and because it coagulates, it becomes actually brownish, not red. And actually, from two different types of bloods, human have only the arterial blood, that with blood which is oxygenated, is really strongly red. The the other blood, I don't know, remember the English word, but that which is not oxygenated is actually much more of a reddish blue, or much more bluish in color. But no need to pick fight with all the red caps around here. There's many of them. The bard soon came upon the tracks of some dread beast. Even as he examined the tracks, a fellow who clearly had a serious problem approached. Oh, lad! Come again? Well, maybe clearly was the wrong word. Tell you what, spit the rocks out of your mouth, then we'll talk. Oh, oh, boy, no knuckle Oh, what's your gut on your blood? Are you still a fool? Would it help if I just killed the knuckle of it? Well, of course. Now get on your guy, you want to crush his scum. I'll take that as a yes. And the knuckle of it. The thing Bard did summon. So, bring that. Following the basic method of summoning the uh, I gotta do a bit of pause. Oh, and there it is, the knuckle away. Some kind of skin at monster. Thou have been served. Well, it has, if it gets to stay in one place, it can be hacked to bits quite efficiently, especially with the axe abilities of Lug. Oh, ma, hold the skull! You did it all the tip to spell. You better be thanking me. I'm betting that you're the man I'm here to see. Are you McRef? I am McRef! Well, I almost think Dugan is playing some kind of joke on me. Dugan! Dugan, so are you made me a bird? He was talking about what I don't hate this this day. Oh, bloody hell. Looks like I'm gonna have to drag you back to see Dugan. Maybe he speaks whatever it is you're speaking. With McRef in tow and the knuckle of E nothing more than a memory, the bard headed back to Downby hoping to decipher Macrath's ramblings and move one step closer to earning his reward. So, now I have to head back to the... Downby. Oh, now I can drum. Maybe now I can understand what the hell, what the... Is kind of weird thing is he talking about? You gotta help me here. I can't understand a bleeding word he's saying. Is this even McGrath? What do you mean? Of course that's McGrath. Ask him a question. Hello there, old friend. How are you getting along with this young scamp? Oh, well, do the brother say no near this bloody lad? It'll be a my for the not live is at some doctor list. Ah. He's speaking in a rare Scottish tongue. I forgot that most people these days don't know it. Fortunately, I do. What's he on about? So far, just that he's grateful for being rescued from the monster that some idiot released. But I'll get more information. Tell me, Mayor, what happened? Yes, Gordon. 
The on the road to the grain of took my castle. I feel all at the time of the hills, creature. Oh, take the behind the axe. Ominous indeed. Do you muck around at the little bit of a castle? He can retrieve the shadox. Oh, you'll like that. What? Which will he have to give? I'm back to the ruins of my castle, and it's shown the entrance. There's a trap door leading you into the end dungeons, but I got the key. Clever. Come again. I'm certain he'll help. Well, it's ten and not get through the dungeons and tie, says Princess, as I saw well their champion. Of course, I wouldn't bury Megan out of your kid, right, girl? I thought to say that myself fear a blind bit, but I am pretty certain. All right, that's it. That's it. What are you two on about? Right, here's the deal. McGrath's going to take you to his castle. Well, the ruins of it, at least. Only if he buys me dinner first. Where he'll open up a trap door that leads down into the dungeons. What's inside? The Shadow Axe. Like I told you before, he was holding it for you. He had to leave it in his dungeon when all the trouble started. I've instructed him to take you to it. Now we're talking. What else? Ah, oh, just some undead warriors. Now, once you have the Shadow Axe, you'll journey south along the coast. Wait a moment. Undead warriors? How many? A few. A score. Well, which is it? A few or a score? It's a big difference, you know. A few score. And when they're all dead, you'll head south to the coast. The third tower is located on a small island just offshore. You should have no trouble securing passage to the tower. Right, I'm off. It's getting dangerous around here. Well, anything to say? Oh, give my shut up, that guy, can I? <laughs> Sorry I asked. <laughs> Alright, so not only Macrath has extremely thick accent, as in uh, you need the subtitles in Great Britain in England to make that kind of accent comprehensible to people. Uh, I can barely understand him, and I am quite fluent with English, and understanding it at least. Well, I guess I have to now start to escort him to, to his locations then. Yeah. Escort him then, escort him here, escort him from here. Lots of running. Yeah, and interestingly enough, these plant monsters of seem to be hostile with red cap, so it's not that the, all the enemies in the game are automatically all allied against you. Nice little detail. Telling about mindlessly aggressive things dangerous to everybody. Now, I was about to mention about the escortings in this, but I ran out of time. The happenings at the local cemetery told the whole story, and it was not a pretty one. The dead were rising more frequently, and the land was becoming more and more chaotic. Hopefully, McCrath could clear up some of the mystery. Ah, oh, could it with a past seven that day we got the raid of their grave? This bit of a man and I would ho ho to the rabbit. Get a first day. Oh, the tower on that one. I wish I knew what the hell you were saying. I don't even know what he's saying. <laughs> oh, that's 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 real funny when, 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 when the narrator doesn't know doesn't know what what he says. Although I actually do say something like that. It's a bad sign that when dead start to rise from the grave, especially Macbeth's mother-in-law, because it was tough enough to kill her at the first time. Uh, meaning that, uh, yeah. How about the fiend? Oh, uh, but here's the place. Yeah, the entertainer gang on and fix our shadows. Ah. So this is the place you and Dugan were talking about, and all I have to do is wander down there in the darkness with God knows what trying to kill me, and hope I stumble onto the shadow axe. Great. Mental Archie, River Hammer's indeed on the shadow axe, you. <laughs> ah, sure, and uh, I give you the breach of me, the fair blink of your trisilic. Ah. You crazy uh, What the hell was that bard saying? But time to go to a dungeon. You are a 
Things appear to sing a mocking song to Bard, of Bard, to Bard. But there's a little bit of catch in this place, which there was a you could you could find a preview in Don't Be Dungeon. That's these. Once again, the Bard felt his magical powers dampened by the shimmering lights. Yeah, you can't summon summon any help in here, and you don't. And there's not even a dog in here, in your age. So. This is that kind of stage or level, whatever is the actual technical term for this kind of. Well, yeah, as long as just one enemy taking them down is not, you could say, too much of a hassle. And of course, mentioning few is actually as a number for numerical value is vague, but score is up is actually quite clear. It's twenty. Few score means uh, less than hundred. Well, time to still save and get forward. Oh, in this after saving, there's something weird happening around here. Aha! Uh -huh. Right! I knew I'd find you. You know what I want, don't you? I have no idea. My apology! Well, uh, that guy's you a You can stubborn. chase me through the depths of hell, but you won't get an apology from me. Then prepare to see me in hell. I will return over and over until you finally apologize. I'm quite certain that that guy, if there would have been a sequel or would be a sequel to this, who knows nowadays. That guy would be definitely be, be in the afterlife. Although, it is not, the, you could say, the most persistent or stubborn case of somebody me going in the afterlife. Oh, yeah, but Macrath's dungeon. Does it apply everywhere in here? The, 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 the magics. <laughs> nope. Only partial places. Ready to scrap. Which of course makes this a bit more convenient to I'm the best. place that yeah you can summon them here or well, no matter you can summon them right after this place 
So it's I'm not so it doesn't best. make it so you really big influence uh, about where you can go. But the uh, landscapes are but set set pieces are quite unpleasant. With traps and blood filled pools and all that kind of disgusting stuff. Nothing really in dramatic in this place, and there's lots of these kind of little portals for you to walk or run around in this place. And some traps as well, but let's have to a tree portal now. And there doesn't seem to be much of saving spots. Actually, there is one here, so I'm gonna head, do head down there. Just to show that the basic bread and butter of this game's gameplay, especially in these dungeon parts, is not that fancy. The pace tends to be a bit of wobbly. Dancing. I guess that's what they do undead monsters do on their free time. Because now they're just back to their assembling cells. Yeah, that's it. That's kind of you could say hubris in the route that yeah, they, 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 you owe me a fortune for this. like some sort of theatrical play or something, yes. something like that. Oh no, and Abad was killed so by quite strong attacks. His inevitable and much deserved fate. Oh yeah, but this place demands quite a lot of running about. Man, this death is so and the end of parts there is also a good way to end this episode. See you next time. See ya.